Korea was ruled by the Imperial Japanese government starting with the Japan-Korea Annexation Treaty of 1910 until the Japanese instrument of surrender in 1945, which ended World War II. After that, the two neighbors have been through history of ups and downs. This week, Korea now will look into the details. It took 20 years for the normalization of state-to-state -state relations between South Korea and Japan. The Treaty on Basic Relations was signed in 1965, and Japan provided South Korea with 500 million US dollars in grants and loans, which sparked many Koreans' opposition to the pact, because it did not contain an apology from Japan for its colonial occupation. After the normalization, the comfort women issue emerged as the source of disputes between the two neighbors. In 1993, then-Chief Cabinet Secretary Yohei Gono issued a statement recognizing the military's involvement in establishing and operating comfort stations for the first time. It was a landmark apology of Japan's sexual enslavement of Korean women during World War II. On the basis of Kono's statement and Murayama's statement in 1995, then South Korea President Kim Dae-jung and Japanese Prime Minister Keijo Obuchi announced a joint declaration in 1998. The two leaders pledged to overcome the past and build new relations. Obuchi apologized for Japan's past wrongdoings in the declaration that led to the lifting of South Korea's ban on Japanese pop culture. And likewise, South Korean pop culture like TV drama series spilled into Japan, which became the origin of Hallyu or Korean wave. However, the relationship has deteriorated due to many disputes such as conflict women and forced labor issues. The previous administration of impeached President Park Geun-hye signed the agreement with Japan in December 2015 to resolve the comfort women issue finally and irreversibly for forward-looking bilateral ties. Under the deal, Japan injected 1 billion yen or 9 million US dollars to a South Korean foundation dedicated to supporting victims. But some victims and civic groups opposed to it and called for the Japanese government to sincere apology and acknowledgement of legal responsibility. Eventually, last November, the Moon Jae-in administration dissolved that Tokyo-funded foundation on wartime sexual slavery, which is an effective nullification of a controversial accord in 2015. Japan implemented tougher restrictions on exports of some key materials to South Korea beginning July 4th. The Abe administration is apparently retaliating against a South Korean court ruling ordering Japanese firms to compensate Korean victims of wartime forced labor in line with their individual right to compensation. Japan is arguing all reparations associated with its colonial rule of Korea were covered by the 1965 state-to-state -state accord. South Korean government raised this case at the World Trade Organization, or WTO, slamming Japan's export curbs as a diplomatic retaliation. South Korea and Japan are both main allies of the United States in Northeast Asia. However, some critics are saying that recently Seoul Tokyo relations are at the worst level since 1965. What are your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching Korea Now.